Hello, hello, it's Azumi again, and we're doing Noah's Chocolate Party, and we're going to start off with the gear, so I'm going with a real tanky build, Niji. Probably doesn't need to be that tanky, but she's not really going to do anything anyway. Um, OG Asuka. Bear. Uh, helmet should probably be at the bottom slot, but it's okay. Um... Faye and we've got my healer is going to be Elizabeth so here we go swing spree sweet attack huh I might try for her that Rapunzel later but I doubt I'll get her anyway so the Targeted races in this fight are going to be Aesir, Elves, Beast, and some Therian. So avoid using them if possible because Noah's auto skill inflicts silence and charm on all of them but Therian. Um, 7 star has Leaf Field, 8 star has High Leaf Field. Uh, the most effective element is going to be Fire and Fire Physical Attack works the best as why most of my team is fire physical attack um, now as far as the crystals go the back row crystals on seven star and above inflict brand to Aesir, L, Therians, and Beast back row crystals also targets the two in your party with the lowest earth resistance with earth magic attack damage as well as buffing the front two crystals and Noah's magic attack by 10% for two turns. So yeah, they suck. Front row crystals on 8 star have barrier to self which disappears after you hit them five times. Um, they also attack the front member of your party with quite a bit of earth magic attack damage. That's why I'm using Niji. And some... Other recommended heroes that you can use for this are Sword Princess Tomoe, uh, Rapunzel is another healer, Eye Patch Asuka works really good, um, the Wrath Scion works pretty good. Basically anybody that's fire based and not Aesir, Elves, Beast, and if you can deal with the brand you can use Therians. Use a lot of HP up gear on them. Um, But if you could use Aesir, this fight would be really easy. I'd use like Svipul or however you pronounce her name or Kagutsuchi or something like that. And this fight would be like nothing. Or even the Valkyrie Asuka would, would be nice to use. But they blocked it out on this one. So I don't really think I could multi-solo. I don't have enough. OP fire gear to be able to do it so I would prefer not even to use Niji as a tank but I tried using the Ray from the cards that we got recently in the Ava collab but she kept dying so I switched her out with Niji it's so basically now that I look at it it's basically the almost the same uh, group that I would use to fight Mamir so Minus Elizabeth. I don't use a healer in Mimir at all. Uh, we're almost done here. And we'll check the damage. And I hope this video was a little bit more helpful. I tried to give a little research it more. And give a little bit more information. Than I usually do. And I'm going to do that from now on. So. And yeah, I actually wrote it all down and read it, so now I'm just talking. And we're almost done. Yeah, it takes me about four minutes to do it, but I'm not really concerned about time. I can always cut that down by switching, by uh, trying to out different fire gear in different slots, but we'll see. And we'll see who did the most damage. I love Bear's costume, by the way. I got crap for drops that time. 
And of course, Asuka did the bulk of the damage. So, yep. If you, that'll be about it for this one. So, thank you for watching and have an amazing day.